Hello and welcome to the episode 282 of What A Fab Day. I am your host, Simon Mas. Today, among other things, we'll celebrate John Lennon's birthday, see the Beatles starting a British tour and work in Abbey Road. On the 9th of October 1940, John Lennon was born at the Liverpool Maternity Hospital. His parents, Julia Stanley and Alfred Lennon, had already stopped living together. Their marriage would end soon. John was named after his paternal grandfather and British Prime Minister Winston Churchill. Later claims of John's aunt Mimi that a German bombing took place on the night of John's birth are false. In 1960, the Beatles, featuring Pete Best on drums and Stu Sutcliffe on bass, performed at the Kaiser Keller in Hamburg, West Germany, for the continuation of their first residency in town. 1962. Having no live engagement, the Beatles, now with Ringo Starr on drums and with Paul McCartney taking the place of Sutcliffe on bass duties, decided to remain in London from their visit to the EMI headquarters on the previous day. Keen on promoting their first single, Love Me Do, they went to the offices of Record Mirror to solicit a review or an interview. After that, they visited Alan Smith, a new Musical Express journalist hailing from Liverpool. They expressed their dissatisfaction with the London crowd, stating that it was a closed circle, uninterested about what came from the north of England. Soon, things would change. On the 9th of October 1963, the Beatles spent a day at the BBC Paris studio in London to record a radio appearance for the Ken Dodd show. The 30-minute programme was centred on the sketches of the eponymous Liverpoolian comedian Ken Dodd, with musical interludes. The Beatles contributed to this show's only such moment with She Loves You, recorded live with the studio audience along the rest of the programme between 10 and 11 p.m. The show was aired on the 3rd of November between 2.30 and 3 p.m. In 1964, instead, the Beatles were on the road again, with the kick-off of their British tour. As it happened for every other date of the tour, the night stop at the Gaumont Cinema in Bradford saw them performing two houses, one at 6.15 and the other at 8.40 pm. The Fabs were accompanied on the stage by the Rustics, Sounds Incorporated, Michael Haslam, The Remo Four, Tommy Quickly and Mary Wells. The Beatles' repertoire consisted of Twist and Shout, Money, That's What I Want, Can't Buy Me Love, Things We Said Today, I'm Happy Just To Dance With You, I Should Have Known Better, If I Fell, I Wanna Be Your Man, A Hard Day's Night, and Long Tall Sally. The tour earned the band £850 per date, about £17,000 in 2020 money. Two celebrations in 1965, with the Beatles attending the lunch party for Lionel Bart's new musical, Twang, and the later, private, 25th birthday party for John. Another celebration in 1966, this time in Carboneras, Spain, where John Lennon was still busy with the shooting of the How I Won the War film. John celebrated his 26th birthday with his wife Cynthia and with Ringo and Maureen Starr, who had come to visit him on the 4th of October. See episode 277 for that. The 9th of October 1967 instead marked an ending, not that of the editing of the Magical Mystery Tour film, which, needless to say, continued at Norman's film productions, being far from complete. No, this was the last day of the 13 Days Do It Yourself Dance Festival, an event put together by artist Yoko Ono and some friends. John Lennon had decided to take part, and so, like the other participants, he had received an RT postcard every morning with some instructions, starting from the 27th of September. 
Today's message, the last, was Color yourself. Wait for the spring to come. Let us know when it comes. My instructions to you are perhaps less poetic, but your contribution will be much more fundamental. Please visit www.simonmas.com support and check out the many ways in which you can reach out and give me a hand to produce more and better music-related content and to help our little community to grow. If you like this podcast, you can also find out how to acquire its deluxe version with hours of extra content. Thank you! Moving on to 1968, between 7 p.m. and 5.30 a.m., George, Paul and Ringo were at the EMI Studios in Abbey Road. The first task of the day was the stereo and mono mixdown of the continuing story of Bungalow Bill. Then, the three moved to Long Long Long, with Paul adding backing vocals and production assistant Chris Thomas adding a piano track. While the piano was being recorded in Studio 2, Paul and sound engineer Ken Townsend went to Studio 1, recording the basic track of Why Don't We Do It In The Road. The session continued with Paul recording five takes of the lead vocal part, an acoustic guitar and a piano overdub on the song, and it was wrapped up with a copy of the 27-minute edition of Helter Skelter, recorded on the 18th of July, see episode 199 for that, which Paul took away for his private collection. And unfortunately, we have to close the episode with a sad event, happened in 1969. John celebrated his 29th birthday at the King's College Hospital in London after Yoko Ono had to be rushed in to receive an emergency blood transfusion. Yoko was expecting a baby and the doctors feared that she might lose him or her, something that indeed happened when she suffered from miscarriage a few days later. On this sad note, we close the episode. Join me tomorrow for further work on the White Album. For the moment, I wish you a good day and a fab continuation. Simon Mas! Music you love